The Philippines is taking a huge step in research and development of our nuclear power program. The Philippine Research Reactor 1 Sather, or PR1 Sather, is the country's sole nuclear reactor training facility, and it recently opened in the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute compound in Quezon City. Joining us now live via Zoom is Alvi Astronomo. She is the project leader of PRR1 Sather. So good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Now, the DOSD PNRI uh, completed the nuclear commissioning of PRR1 Sather. What exactly does this mean for our efforts to undertake nuclear research and train our nuclear engineers and operators? Uh, the, facility, the facility is designed to be a training reactor, so it is meant to support nuclear manpower development. As we all know, um, nuclear energy is being proposed as one of the viable solutions for our energy crisis. And having a training facility will significantly um, improve our manpower development. Now, while it is a nuclear facility, uh, we're told that this functions differently from a nuclear power plant, right? Um, you know, maybe you can highlight the differences for us. Um, one of the main differences is the power level. So nuclear power plants typically have power levels in the order of uh, hundreds of megawatts and uh, up to gigawatts. But for the uh, PRR1 Sather, it's only less than one watt. So uh, the, the power level of our light bulbs even, uh, even has a higher power level than the Sather. So it is inherently safe, which makes it an ideal training facility for students. So um, aside from that, the purpose is very different. So nuclear power plants is for uh, power generation, while the PR1 Sather is a training and research facility. All right. Now, some LGUs and lawmakers are leaning towards harnessing nuclear energy to address inadequate uh, electricity supply here in the country. With this facility now open, how will this help the national effort? And how much closer are we to making that shift towards nuclear power? Or energy. Um, one, in, one important component of a uh, nuclear power program is a sufficient number of people who are knowledgeable about the technology. And that is what uh, the uh, facility aims to support. Um, and uh, with sufficient number of people, um, even right now, uh, we were able to do it 30 years ago. So um, we're quite confident that it can be done again, given um, sufficient support from the government and also the public. And um, so the, the facility will help build that capability and it will also support the existing nuclear education program that was initiated by the PNRI in uh, Mapua University and also in the UP Diliman. So with those people uh, knowledgeable, uh, we, uh, we are confident that we can move forward and we can be competitive with other countries with nuclear power as well. Okay, um, Alvi, once, uh, you know, given the full operating license, who exactly will be allowed to access this facility? Uh, one of the objectives of the facility is to engage stakeholders. Uh, we expect that our stakeholders includes the public. So there are uh, graded access to the facility. The public can access, uh, uh, can access certain areas, but the students can access the facility itself. So um, we have we, we can uh, we can accommodate the visit of uh, funding agencies, the public, um, students, researchers, but of course they have different levels of access on different parts of the facility. All right, uh, sounds like very exciting times there uh, for all of you. Thank you once again for joining us. That was PRR One Sather Project Leader Alvi Astronomo. Oh, my God, no, Marcus, uh, it is a privilege to be part of this history of the PRR One. And um, sure, as we uh, reflect, uh, as we review the back of the project, we uh, we have to uh, remember those who initiated this program. And uh, first and foremost, that is Dr. Saliban, who conceptualized this idea in 2014. Back, we used the year one uh, three of you well in the subcritical assembly, and of course, that was continued by Ma'am Christine Romaliosa, who has continued in different capacities throughout the development of this project. First as a project leader and then as the head of the NRS who was given a very valuable um, feedback that improved the uh, processes and documentation of the Pier 1 Center. So um, we know that uh, for the last 34 years the facility has been shut down and now uh, we are uh, from the efforts of the team.
that has grown from uh, nine males to <laughs> relatively, uh, we have about 16, um, 16 uh, uh, staff with uh, four females and uh, 12 males. And um, talaga pong hindi possible yung, uh, yung project na to without everyone's effort. Um, every, uh, through the project development, nakita po yung growth. Remember, uh, ang primary objective ng project na ito is capacity building. Operators, regulators, and potential users. And um, based on the feedback that we have obtained from uh, from the from Sir John, who has witnessed the former operation and who will now be witnessing the restart of the facility, from his feedback he says na nakita niya yung comparison ng former staff, sa current staff, and it was actually his goal signal which encouraged us to proceed because he said na all were ready na. And that is one of the measures, of course, aside from the list of trainings that we've had, aside from the everyday experience of doing it, and of course, yung pong, um, yung pong, uh, from, from the regulatory aspect naman, um, we've had uh, a lot of uh, exchanges in different uh, contexts, and uh, through those exchanges, we've also learned how to manage the interface between the operator and the regulator. And now, we're about to load 44 fuel rods into the center core. This will um, operate in a subcritical configuration with zero power. So that means it is inherently safe for uh, uh, operation as a training and research facility. So po, um, we were not really expecting that there will be something that will be coming over later, but now that we're here, we will, we will be, uh, we have, this is a question that we have to ask that this is a research reactor, and it's very different in terms of purpose from a nuclear power plant. So once again, I would like to thank everyone. Um, uh, it's all part of history, and uh, I hope that we um, may, uh, may uh, ano natin, uh, ma appreciate natin yung mayayari, it's very tangible and hope from the assembly. So thank you very much. This is today. Yung sinasabi nila na it will go down in history. So after more than 30 years na wala tayong operating research reactor, and yung mga ginawating natin for the past few years na puro continuous learning, capacity building activities, and those activities have led us for today na andyan na siya, ikokomission na natin siya. So from the project onset, Marami pinagdaanan, marami tayong natutunan. So, we gain valuable um, skills, knowledge, saka mga ano ba, lessons, important thing, mga lessons that has um, become uh, instinct na sa atin na for the future undertakings natin, mas malalaman na natin at mas maintindihan natin in terms of your operation and licensing of the bare facilities that we